Hi there, today we're going to talk about multiplying by twos, fours, fives, or tens. So multiplication, really all multiplication is, is repeated addition. So repeated addition. What repeated means is just doing something over and over exactly the same. So for instance, if we had the numbers 4 times 2, to understand that, what that's really saying is 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2. And I bet you can figure that out really easily. So if we skip count along, we can go 2, 4, 6, 8. So our answer, if we added it, is 8. If we multiplied it, the same thing, 4 groups of 2, the answer is also 8. And this part right here, the answer with multiplication, is called the product. So the product of 4 times 2 is 8. The same thing goes for when you're multiplying by 4s, by 5s, or by 10s. You're repeating it over and over and over the same number. Let's try one with 4s. So if I give you the multiplication fact 3 times 4, and we're trying to figure out the product, what we're really doing is repeating 4 three times. So 4 plus 4 plus 4. Skip count by 4 and see if you can come up with the answer. 4 plus 4 is 8. 4 more is 12. So 3, 1, 2, 3 groups of 4 has a product of 12. Now the truly neat part about multiplication is if we know that 3 times 4 is 12, then the opposite is also true. 4 times 3 will also equal 12. So any time that you're multiplying, you can always reverse the numbers, you will still get the same answer. Now skip back, counting by fives is quite easy. We count 5, 10, 15, 20. So it'll be real easy when you decide to multiply with fives. It should be a real fun one for you to do. For instance, let's do 6 times 5. We're going to try and get the product of 6 times 5. So we're going to skip count by fives and see if we can go all the way up to 6 groups of it. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So skip counting by fives, we skip counted 6 times. 1, twice, third time, fourth, fifth and sixth times and we got a and we got a product of 30. So 6 times 5 is 30. And remember what I said the reverse is the same as well. So 5 times 6 will also equal 30. Another fun one to do is multiplying by tens. For instance, if I asked you what 7 times 10 was, we could easily skip count up. So if we did seven groups of 10, we could come up with the answer. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. So we have a product of 70. Now notice, when you're multiplying with 10s, when you get to your product, your answer right here, notice it is the number that you multiplied by 10 plus the added 0 for the 10. For instance, if it was 8 times 10, it would be 80. 3 times 10 equals 30. It's a neat little trick with multiplying by 10s. Nice work. OK, let's review. What would 3 times 5 equal? What's its product? Skip count by fives. 
you got 15, give yourself a pat on the back. Three groupings of five. Five plus five plus five. That equals the same of 15. Let's do another. How about 10 times six? Now we haven't multiplied by sixes, but remember my rule. You can reverse it and then multiply using your tens and skip counting. See if you can figure that out, and then we'll walk right through it. Think about your repeated addition and your trick with tens. Did you get a product of 60? If you did, pat yourself on the back, and let's walk through it. So remember, what it's saying here is 10 groups of 6, but we can reverse that and make it 6 times 10. Now we know our little trick with multiplying with tens, it's the number you're multiplying plus the zero. So it would be 60. But another way to think about it is just 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10. Plus 10. We skip count those along, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, to get an answer of 60. Nice work. So to review. With multiplication by 2s, 4s, 5s, or 10s, you can use repeated addition to help you out when multiplying. Remember, you're multiplying the same amount over and over and over again. And then you can use your skip counting to help you. For instance, if you're doing 3 times 2, to find that product, your answer, all you're doing is 2 plus 2 plus 2 for a product of six. So keep practicing your skip counting by twos, fours, fives, and tens, and you'll be a master at multiplication in no time. Great job, and I can't wait to talk to you more about math soon.